Here's my first impression of the new Tesla 14.3 update. Work's honestly been pretty tough, but nothing like a free update to cheer me up. First up, this new UI is great. Who knew I'd like to admire the car on the inside just as much as on the outside? Of course, you can choose between a light and a dark theme, but I think this update might have just convinced me to stay on dark mode permanently. Audio settings are much easier to find, and let's see if we can spot any other visual changes. Hold up, something's a little different here. The on-screen gear shifters are now half the size. This has honestly been one of my biggest issues with the car so far. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes if you swipe up or down and it's slightly off, the car actually wouldn't change gears, which is pretty scary. This was marketed as a visual update, but I think it's going to be a huge boost to safety as well. The rainy season has well and truly started here in Sydney, and there's been more than one occasion when the auto wipers have failed me. This update lets me make manual adjustments easily by scrolling up and down, which is way more comfortable. When I first saw this feature on the release notes, I was absolutely stunned. Cars have been equipped with hands-free trunk options for ages, but using the camera makes a lot of sense here. Plus, it's free. Let's test it out. The car chimes a few times and opens. Pretty simple. Now, I wanted to see how sensitive the camera would be. Last thing I'd want is for the trunk to open up randomly. It doesn't chime if you're on the edge of the rear camera, And there's definitely a bit of a delay before it starts up. And if you don't stay put, the trunk doesn't open either, which totally makes sense. I wanted to test out this feature outside in the dark as well. It's raining a little bit, but no issues from the looks of it. It's working fine. Here, the trunk actually doesn't open after chiming. I'm carrying an empty crate in a pretty normal way, I'd say. This could well be a box from Ikea or some other heavy item. I'll leave it to your imagination. But the car doesn't seem to recognize that a person is standing here. I tried it a few more times and got the same result. I think you really need to make sure that the camera sees the shape of your body instead of a box or a bag. Not a deal breaker, but definitely something to keep in mind before your next shop at Bunnings. Overall, a really cool set of updates I'd say. My personal favorite is definitely the change to the size of the on-screen gear shifter. Like and subscribe if you're new, and I hope you enjoyed this short reaction video.